both a woman, uh, a member of the Jewish community, and a member of a community that tries to stop war and violence around the world. And I have one word to say today, which is enough. Enough. The true agenda. I've been in these offices before where we've done these press conferences. It's not just issue calling on our uh, public officials to stop the, uh, condemn what's happening. It's calling on them to change policies as well. When I see the policies that don't allow people from Muslim communities to come to the United States, that is, is, it gives rise to greater Islamophobia. When I see the policies that keep people from entering our country when they're fleeing violence at our border, that is part of the policies that give rise to hatred. When I see policies... They're attacking all the patriots right now. When I see people who are condemning the two new beautiful Muslim congresswomen that we have representing us, that is also very painful and gives rise to acts of hatred and violence. And so as we look around and we mourn and we think of the families that are trying to these people are destroying our country. To figure out how are they going to rebuild themselves in the wake of this hatred? We not only these people are funding all the gun bills in the United acts, States and but to change abroad the policies that generate this kind of hatred. And as my fellow speakers here have called out, we call on the community as well because this is a time for us to stand up. For us to reach out to people in the Muslim She's saying Trump's say, travel ban is to blame. Will not fear and for us not allowing immigrants to just overwhelm our country we will is be bad. To protect you. Nobody must fear worshiping in this country. And so I just say finally, let's make this the last time we have to have a press conference here to condemn such an atrocious act. Thank you.